Previously on the Shiny Lock. Thank you so much, Earl. Appreciate it. Yes! 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 Shiny Star Run, baby! Let's go! Earl of Tree and calls it! Lily, get excited! Yes! The third Shiny of the Pokemon! Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock is here! So I think we're ready to rock, man. We're gonna take on Watson. The electric type gym leader who is obviously gonna have his team randomized. We're gonna find out what that randomization is about to be. In comes Sawsbuck. Wow. Don't go for jump kick though. He goes for takedown. Ouch. <gasps> oh my god, Pinocchio! No! <laughs> oh my god. I think we're all right though. I think if this Ice Fang connects it, it might kill him. It does. So we are gonna beat Watson, the alleged type gym leader, but it's not without a cost. We actually are gonna lose one of our lives on Pinocchio. <laughs> On YouTube, this is your boy Dan, aka A Job. I bring you guys episode 7 of the first ever Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. If you guys are super duper excited or just even a little bit excited, definitely show your love on that like button down below. Remember, hitting that like goal on Tuesdays and Thursdays episodes will get you a bonus episode on Friday, and it is incredibly critical to get that bonus episode that the A-Drive army turns up. So the goal is 1,500 likes for Tuesday and Thursday. I know you guys could do it. You guys have, have, have absolutely obliterated the goal so far, and it's not even like a question. So make it happen, guys. Show your love, and that would be amazing. So thank you for that, and I hope you guys had a, uh, a wonderful New Year's. It's been a couple days since I've posted a video, so look at that orange orange swagger right there. If you missed the last episode, of course, go check that out in the... Uh, in the description uh, below, of course, and, and this is actually a problematic scenario here because I don't really have the best matchup against this Litwick, but I shall do my best here and hope I do not get double attacked. That is my goal. I'm actually going to fake out the Starly, so that way it can't hurt me. And if I hit the Rock Tomb on the other thing, we might be okay. This is, uh, I miss. He's going to Willow. Why did he burn the Starly? I'm so confused why that happened. Can someone explain to me the logic there? I have no idea what just happened. All right, well, I should be able to take out this. Actually, I could, uh, I could, I could actually, hold on. We're going to backtrack here because I think I can actually just win. I didn't even realize, Steve. I could actually burn the Starly, which I don't think gets gut, so I'm not sure why you'd want to burn it. Unless it has Facade, which that'd be kind of weird. He's going to go for Wing Attack here. He is burned, so that does nothing. I don't know why this Litwick was out for vengeance against, uh, against his friend Starly there. Well, that is gonna create a very interesting start to this uh, uh, this episode. I don't know what just happened. I'm like actually really confused. But anyway, I hope you guys had a good New Year's. Mine was super duper weird. Can't really talk about it at this point in time until I get some more details and more facts. But it was it was all sorts of weird. So we're not gonna talk about New Year's. But uh, what I will talk about is the fact that it uh, it's a brand new year. It's a brand new start. You know, I'm excited. I'm chilling. I'm ready to rock on the shiny lock. You know, I've been having a lot of fun actually. We streamed uh, the shiny lock obviously not too long ago, and I will be streaming again this week. So my hope is that by the end of this episode, I can actually get the next Pokemon we need. Uh, I don't want to take on that breeder. Uh, I can actually get the next Pokemon that we need by the end of this episode. So that way we can start our hunt for Thursday's episode. That's my plan. I would love to try to figure out what our fourth member of our team is going to be. And this guy actually is, uh, he, he's normally a bug maniac, I believe, with like some pretty powerful bug types. But because he's randomized, he ends up having a Pidgey. So he, <laughs> he, uh, he got the short end of the stick on that one. I think normally he would have... Uh, some other thing. I think he has like Beautifly, Dustox, or Masquerade, or something like that. I felt like his team was was way way better before he was randomized so far. But we'll see what else he's got. Maybe he's got something else. Maybe he's got something else. Of course, if you missed last episode, I'll give you the spoiler now. You probably saw it in the previous. There's the Venomoth. There it is. So uh, all is well in the world. Uh, Pinocchio did lose its first heart, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more cautious, Pinocchio, moving forward, as he only has two lives left. He is on. He, he's not a cat. He's only got three lives total. It's only got three lives, and this Venomoth is already obnoxious. Such a cool Pokemon, though. Shiny Venomoth would be really sick for this playthrough. That would uh, that would give us another flying weakness, though. And we're just gonna keep hitting ourselves, so we're just probably gonna switch out here. I think I have to, because he might actually have Psybeam or something. If he has Psybeam, we might be in trouble here. So I'm gonna go into Pinocchio. One, because I can avoid the Poison Powder, uh, because it's a Powder move. I'm a Grass type. Two, because I can hit him with a Fake Out, which is gonna hurt. And uh, if he goes for a bug move like Silverwind, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I just remembered that, so that was probably a really bad decision. But I feel like he probably doesn't have any bug type moves. So let's go for the uh, the fake out here. 
and I could I could probably he's gonna oh wow why didn't that work oh he's got shield dust so secondary moves don't work so it seems like it was the hardest hitting thing he has let's go to frostbite and I'll, I'll knock this thing out with one hit <laughs> that was funny my, my fake out didn't even work because of his inner focus or his shield dust all right there's frostbite shivering let me tell you about shivering by the way wow he double supersonic this man predicted that um, so in Connecticut right now, it was really warm for a while. It was like super warm, no idea why. And all of a sudden, it gets super cold again. And right now, it's like negative five degrees Fahrenheit with the wind chill, about five degrees otherwise. It is cold outside, man. And I go outside and not, oh, he's got confusion, so there it is. I don't go outside too much, you know, obviously since I, I pretty much home most of the time. But I do go outside to walk the puppy and stuff like that. and. Jiminy Christmas, it's cold out there, guys. It it's this thing is uh, kind of trouble problematic. This Venomoth, it's it's cold out. It is cold out. So stay warm wherever you are. If you're like in Brazil or whatever, then I don't feel bad for you. But oh my guys got Charmeleon too. This actually this is kind of crazy. Uh, so here's here's the problem. I actually cannot switch into um into Pinocchio here, and the reason why is because or into uh, Ernie because if he has Dragon Rage at level 15, which I don't know if he does. Uh, I'd be in a lot of trouble, so I'm actually gonna go for the bite here, and I'm slower. That just shows all, some crazy stuff, man. That just shows some crazy stuff. That frostbite at this level is slower. I think I could take an ember. He's got smoke screen. That's what he's going for. Why doesn't he go for a fire type move? It'd be super effective. Well, at least I hit the icy wind. Now I should be faster. And that did a lot. That was a crit. No, it wasn't. That just did a lot. Did my attack get lowered? I feel like my attack is so bad. Or bite just doesn't do a lot. I don't know. Let's go for icy wind again. Looks like it'll knock him out. No, it doesn't. Of course not. And he's going to go for, like, Ember or Dragon Rage now. And now he's going to go for Growl. I'm a little perplexed here as to why this is happening the way it is. But uh, I feel like I'm probably going to miss this time. Yeah, there it is. And there's the Ember. And that does a lot. No burn, though. Um, I really feel like Pinocchio is the smartest play here. Even though switching into an Ember is really dumb. I feel like it's probably my best play. Because I don't want Pinocchio or uh, Frostbite to miss again. Oh my goodness, stop it! Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm getting bodied right now. Luckily I got fake out, but jeez. My entire team just got decimated by a Venomoth and a Charmeleon that were like five levels below me. Um, okay. There's really not too much of a reason for me to go to Verdant Surf Town at this point, in all honesty. I kind of just switched over here, but we can really go, uh, go north, I think. I don't really need to go all the way over here, I don't think. There's a couple trainers and go to Verdant Surf. I guess we could just go to Verdant Surf. I don't think this trainer battles me. I am skipping a few of the trainers. Uh, I'm usually not the kind of guy who skips trainers, but I do want to keep the momentum of this playthrough going, and I want to kind of keep uh, keep things rolling here and try to move as, as, as briskly as possible. But anyway, we have a question of the day today, which I totally forgot to mention before. But uh, let's talk a little bit about music, what kind of music you guys listen to. Uh, I'm the kind of person where I just put Pandora on. I don't really ever actively listen to anything in particular. I just go and, and turn my uh, Pandora radio station on, and I just play whatever's on. I, there's a couple different stations I have. I have one that's like kind of electronic-y music. Um, I have one for Set It Off, which is a band I used to really, really enjoy. It's a little bit more, uh, it's like some screaming and stuff like that. So a little bit more intense, I guess. And then, does she give me the Soothe Bell? I don't, oh wow. So I guess uh, Pinocchio really loves me. Um, well, I thought she would give me the Soothe Bell though, but maybe not. Is this Wally's house? Wanda's house, is that Wally's mom? Is this the guy? Oh, you did come visit. All right, so Wally left. That's fine. And here's Wanda. Why don't you guys give me anything? Oh, we should go to the tunnel, though, and just clear the tunnel, because I think... Do I have Rock Smash already? Or does he he smash it for me? But did I ever get Rock Smash? I have no idea. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, I did. All right, so I really do have to teach it to someone for this purpose, for this point. So I'm going to teach it to Ernie. As much as it pains me... To get rid of Arnie's moves, I think I need to teach him Rock Smash. So I'm going to get rid of, uh, I'm debating here. I think I'm going to get rid of Vital Throw or Revenge. Because Revenge is going to double it. Vital Throw is going to do more damage, but it never misses. That's a tough decision. I guess I can get rid of Focus Energy. Because I don't really foresee myself using it too, too much. Focus Energy is kind of cool, though. Um, I, I'm going to get rid of Revenge. Because it's a Nuzlocke. Anytime you're taking damage, it's not good. And we'll get some more, uh, some better moves anyway. And honestly, Rock Smash isn't bad because it gets the defense drop, or could get a defense drop. This guy a trainer? Oh, he is. All right, well, let's battle this guy. 
Uh, so I put out a bunch of different Pandoras, you know, I, I have like, I even have like a, a piano Pandora that plays like just piano, classical music. I have a cartel radio, which I really like to listen to, but uh, I'm not the, I've never been the kind of person that had a bunch of songs in my iTunes library or anything like that. Um, I never like bought a lot of music or anything. I just kind of, kind of just play internet radio now. That's just my thing. Cause I find that even though I don't know a lot of the artists that I'm listening to, cause I don't remember the names. I just know the songs. I know a lot of the songs and then I find out later on that this is the same artist and I'm like, Oh, that was really cool. I know them. And that, that's really my story about the music. But let me know what you guys are thinking of. I mean, I listen to a lot of different things. I'll even listen to rap once in a while. Um, but I'm really not into like, I don't know how to describe it. The rap that's like kind of inappropriate and just a lot of swears and stuff about females and whatever else. I'm, that's not really the kind of rap I like. I like, uh, no offense, but no offense to that kind of rap because I respect it as music. But uh, I like rap that's very like lyrically intellectual and a little bit more play on words and syllables and things like that. That's kind of more what I lean towards. There's a guy named Watsky, if you've ever heard of him. Uh, he used to be pretty, he's actually pretty popular on YouTube um, for doing slam poetry. He was on the Deaf Poetry Slam and stuff. And Watsky is like my favorite. He, that guy is a lyrical mastermind. He, the kid's a genius. And it's really, really interesting to listen to him. Not only rap, but do spoken word and all sorts of stuff. My fiance even got me into country music, uh, which I thought is kind of funny. So, I mean, I've, I've listened to a lot of different things. Let's go uh, help out this hiker here. Uh, I can't get these rocks out of my way. Your Pokemon, he can use Rock Smash. Sure, let's do it. So let's Rock Smash this Pokemon. This guy's a karate man. I would think he could just, like, either walk over the boulders or what. But, an Aggronite. Hmm. I found that when I was digging for the digging for the tunnel, I felt there's some mysterious power coming from it, but I don't think I could do a thing. So this guy actually, uh, this team of people actually single-handedly dug this tunnel here just to get from one part of the world to the other, which is really cool, you know. Ooh, a fungus! Uh, it's always good to do updates to the world, you know. You always gotta, always gotta make those tweaks, make some updates to to make the world a little bit better place. Like when they build a new highway, that's kind of like what they're doing. The thing that I'm, that I'm or curious about is all those whispers that are in there and all that stuff, they just kind of randomly appeared. How did that happen? Did they just like walk into the cave and they're like, oh, this would be a really cool place. I guess it makes sense since the whispers are actually right outside too. So this guy dropped his glasses. He's got black glasses somewhere, which I really want actually, because I could give them to Pinocchio and get that boost. Even though he's got Thief, I should probably put my little hat on here. Hold on. Where is it? Uh, dowsing machine. This might help us out. Oh, I think I was actually right next to it. There it is, the black glasses. So these are not his glasses, but look at all the Pokemon on this route that we can't get to. These are his glasses. No, they're not his glasses. HP up. So that's kind of a tough decision to give it to Pinocchio or not because Pinocchio really shouldn't have any items. Oh, did I ever take that item off of Ernie? He wasn't holding anything. What did I get? The silk scarf from Pinocchio. Okay, so Pinocchio had the silk scarf. I don't want him to have anything. Didn't Ernie have a sticky barb on him last episode? I never I never went back to find out what happened with that sticky barb. Like, why did I have sticky barb on me? I could have sworn I had sticky barb on me and it took damage from it. I don't know. I'm so confused. All right, well, anyway, let's go uh, Let's go north here and start to make our way. Oh, man, I didn't mean to take on this trainer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go north and, and take on some trainers here. He's got six Pokemon. I have Penny. Oh boy. All right, well, this is good experience anyway. I'm gonna see, hopefully we can just body these guys in six hits. Oh my goodness. These tra I, the reason why I wanted to avoid this trainer is just because she has six Pokemon and it's just a lot. It's just a lot of Pokemon. Sweet Kiss, why are you guys so annoying? I swear, when I play Pokemon games in-game, the amount of times I get confused is too darn high. It's too high. That's all people do is they just confuse you. They just want to confuse you. They just want to hit you with them supersonics that never miss, the confuse rays. There's a Vullaby. You know, it's just, it, it never ends. Ernie, can you can you kill this thing, please? I don't think it's going to kill in one hit. I got to two hit him. Of course, Ernie. Hit yourself in confusion. Go for it. Come on, buddy. And now my defense is dropping, which is making that confusion hit her more. I'm going to have to switch. Oh, we switched out. Good. Or swapped out. Wow, that was that was a crit. I was gonna say that was pretty powerful. And Ernie grows to level 23, catching up to Frostbite. I'm excited to find out what our next Pokemon is gonna be. 
I will do a uh, deck snap. Oh, hop it. I'm gonna do deck snap for the next one again, and then I think the following one after that, I will probably hoard hunt for. I'm not sure where or why or when, but I think that's what we're gonna do. And then maybe the one after that will fish. Because I don't want to fish again right now, because I don't have the... I'm not... I'm gonna get the good rod at some point. I don't know what level this thing learns play rough. I have to switch. But I'm not gonna be able to do much to him anyway if I switch to Frostbite. Um... I do get energy ball with Pinocchio. If he if he has play rough at 17, which I don't think he does, we're in a lot of trouble. I think he learns it a few levels higher, but I know he learns play rough before like level 30. If he has play rough right now, that's gonna do a lot. He's gonna defense curl. Alright. I think we have energy ball, so I think we'll be good. And with that big energy ball, nature power. Turn into energy ball. Bam! Goodbye. Ooh, he lives it! This Meryl's legendary! Well, I'm gonna steal his item if he has one. Maybe we'll have uh, a Glalotite. What? He ate his Custat Berry! I almost took his Custat Berry. Wow, I'm kind of salty about that. I would have taken his Custat Berry right there. Alright, well, let's see if the next Pokemon has an item. So, part of the randomizer, which you just saw for the first time, uh, is all the Pokemon do have the potential to have randomized held items. Um, it's a low, low odds, though. It's a pretty low odds. We just stole a Destiny Knot, though. Yo, this is gonna be fun, man. This is gonna be fun. Pinocchio is gonna be stealing so many things now that I... Mock Punch? Letty Bug, calm yourself. I would love for Letty in on this playthrough. As terrible of a Pokemon as it is, I really like Letty in. Well, at least it will know where it is now, because because we just saw it. Um, I, I absolutely think this is gonna be really fun, just stealing items from things. We just got a Destiny Knot, which is used for breeding. Uh, it's not going to serve us any purpose right now, but it's still pretty cool. So we'll find out what other stuff we can get. We're gonna someone. Some, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you guys to keep a tally of what we thief from things. So so far we've stolen a Destiny Knot. We're gonna we're gonna find out what other things we can steal. Let's see what uh, Frostbite can do here. I'm gonna be on. Wow! Hit him with that Bronx Bear takes freeze. He thought that anyway. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Frostbite, you're a little bit underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I realize that you have, like, really bad base stats. I think Snowrun has, like, base 50 across the board. So I realize that, but it's a little bit underwhelming. It's not really, uh, not really hitting that hard. Even at little, like, I, I guess I'm expecting him to hit harder since he's such a high level. And he just doesn't. He just doesn't. But, okay, so let's, uh, let's try to avoid a couple of these trainers here. Like I said, I don't quite want to take them on. There's a Pokemon in the grass that I'm... Avoiding, what are these? Citrus berries? No, they're pineapple berries. I don't care about those. Bum, ba -da -da -dum, bum. All right, let's, uh, let me just take the Destiny Knot from him. Why doesn't he have it? Pinocchio isn't holding anything. I thought I stole the Destiny Knot. Or does Thief not work against, in, like, trainers? Maybe Thief doesn't work against the trainers. I thought it worked against, uh, maybe it only works against wild Pokemon. I don't know, I'll have to check the mechanics on that, that's weird. I thought I would have been able to take it, but... Oh well. Well, let me just uh, heal up here, and then we're gonna go north up towards the next area. We have to head basically all up to... all the way up to Fall Arbor Town. We end up going through, um... Through, I believe... I don't think we go through the entire Mount... Cor uh, Mount Pyre thing. I think we just kinda go past it to Fiery Path, but... We'll see. Oh, there's Team Aqua. What are we supposed to be, uh... Where are we going again? Oh, it's Mount Chimney. Stay out, stay spaced out, and you'll get scolded by Archie. Mount Chimney. It'll be a long walk going to Route 12. I wish I, I think I should buy lunch first. I might get some lunch here in a little bit after this recording. That sounds like a good idea. All right, so we're on Route 111. There's Snovers in the water. If we if we want to go straight Ice Team, guys, I can definitely catch a Snover right now. I could fish for it and get a shiny Snover on this playthrough if I want to get two ice types, which I don't think is a good idea in all honesty. So here's the thing. We got the Wind Straight family, which is right down here. They do give you the Macho Brace. I'm actually going to skip it because I don't really think the Macho Brace is that good. And I would like to kind of advance as far as I can on the playthrough. Um, again, I understand that I am skipping trainers. We're going to get Soft Sand. That's kind of cool. I'm skipping trainers. If you guys really want me to like take on pretty much every trainer, I will. I just figured that it's probably better to see more action each episode like most of the LPs I think of Alpha Sapphire probably take about 30 episodes and I'm hoping to do this in like 25 23 you know what I mean I just I, I just feel like it'll be better if we move a little quicker but there might be times where I'm gonna need to grind too because I'm not using the experience share so 
Uh, while we're doing good now, it, it could be could be problematic. So here's a spirit tomb, which obviously I cannot hit with anything other than rock tomb. We're gonna go for the rock tomb. I don't know what level he learns um, Will O Wisp, but we're gonna find out here. He's gonna go for hypnosis. <laughs> you would. I need a uh, sleep talk. Can I get sleep talk on Ernie? I mean, I know I could beat the spirit tomb. I just don't want to be sleeping this whole time. I guess I could switch out here. Let's go to uh, let's go to frostbite. And I could try to flinch him with bites, because I doubt he could really do too much to us. It's a spirit tomb. I mean, spirit tomb is pretty good, but it's pretty, pretty lame simultaneously. All right, hit him with the bite. Thirty percent flinch. No, he's got faint attack. I should actually teach uh, frostbite or give frostbite the black glasses because he's got bite. So then we'll get the boost, the dark boost. He he lives it. Now he flinches. The Frostbite, like I said, is just a little bit underwhelming in terms of his power, but we're clearly appropriately leveled. These are level 16, so I'm not going to stress too much about that. What are we going to get here? See, look at our stats. 41, 41 across the board for the attacks, and then speed. Yeah, I mean, he wants to learn Headbutt, though. That is good. That is a really good move. Okay, so Headbutt is really good. I'm going to get rid of Block because I don't really see us using Block for much. Headbutt's really good, and the reason why is because once I get to Mega Glalie, it then becomes... Um, Glacier boosted or refrigerate boosted or whatever it's called and it becomes way better. Here's a Mianfu. This thing is scary And I'm really really worried now because Ernie is asleep and Pinocchio cannot come in on a fighting type attack Frost bite does not want to take a hit. I gotta go into the sleeping Ernie to take on this Mianfu. This thing is so scary Hopefully he'll just fake out the first turn uh, Which I think is what he has. He's gonna go for the fake out. So that's not gonna do too much. Yeah, it does nothing So that's fine. Now we gotta wake up though. We gotta wake up Detect perfect just detect all game, bro. You can just detect. Just keep doing it. Just keep detecting. You don't even have to worry about it. He's gonna go for meditate. So he might not even be able to hit us any with anything. He might have like pound or something. He's got. He might have karate chop. Nothing that's gonna really do a crazy amount. If he's got like high jump kick, he's plus two. I mean, that's gonna do a lot. And I'm still sleeping, Ernie. What are you doing, man? Come on, Ernie. Wake up, bro. Medi Dude, this thing is plus three right now. My saving grace is I have fake out on Pinocchio, and this thing's gonna hurt. That's gonna body him. He's He lives it. He lives it. He's gonna detect again. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be faster than him. I'll go for the rock smash just in case I am. He's gonna detect again. Maybe he didn't have any offensive moves aside from fake out. I don't know. It is a randomizer, so it's based on level up pool. So he might have just had a really bad... Move pool. And that was a team flare grunt. I didn't even realize it. Good job, Ernie. Holding it down. All right, what do we got here? Let's uh, let's give Pinocchio some more action here. He's level 22. He's our lowest level. I'm excited because we're going to find out very soon what our next Pokemon is going to be. This kid... There's a couple trainers up here. You want to battle me? My Pokemon is full of pep. It's got some pep in his step. Oh, man. Secret base trainer. He's got a hoot hoot. Doesn't really look too good for Pinocchio, but I think I could, I could probably beat him. Cause what's he gonna do? Peck me? Like, come on. You gonna hit me with a peck, bruh? Let's go for the fake out and then the thief. Level 19 though. It did a solid amount. Let's see if I steal any items here. We stole his ring target! So we stole another item. I wonder if we're actually gonna be able to keep the item though. I feel like maybe it doesn't work that way. I would think that if you stole an item from an opposing trainer, you can keep it. I would think. Because what does it matter if the trainer doesn't have the item? I can understand it if it's like on, on like Wi-Fi, because you don't want to steal the opponent like because it's a real person. This in-game trainer, man, I should be able to keep your ring ring target. And I don't. Yeah, that's weird. But I think if I were to take it from a wild Pokemon, it would work. I don't know. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna go to Route 112, baby, and there is May. A drive look right up there. It's Mount Chimney. Look at that beautiful view of Mount Chimney Look at it. It sure is big no more like huge. It totally takes my breath away I'd love to take the cable car all the way to the top someday Hey a drive don't you uh, don't your Pokemon seem a bit ragged around the edges. Let me help them get a boost So he's gonna heal us up here and our team's health is restored here take this too and she is gonna give us strength All right I bet you can find all kinds of ways to use it in the mountains that lie ahead, but it won't work outside of the battle if you don't have the badge from Laverage Gym. 
Gas, what am I doing nattering away? I'm supposed to be on my way to Fall Harbor to visit Professor Cosmo. But I'm off for now, hey, drive. Let's have a battle next time. All right. So I really want to use the grass in uh, where Skarmory is to find our wild Pokemon, uh, where the suit, the ashes are. Because I think that we could end up getting some really cool stuff there. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to get to. I don't know if we're going to get to that this episode, but I'll, if we have to go a few minutes over, I think it's not a big deal. Because that's kind of what I want to hunt, or like where I want to hunt for. Um, that is a ways away, though. I guess if I skillfully dodge some trainers, we can make it work. All right, we got to take down this Pita first. Hit him with the Thiefs. I don't know if this is going to kill. I don't think it will. Nah, it doesn't. He's going to go for Air Cutter. This might actually do a lot. He crit us, didn't he? No, he didn't. That just did a lot. Okay. I mean, I'm actually a little surprised at how low these level Pokemon are. They're like 16, 17, 18, 19 when the gym was like 20, 21, 22, but it's all good. And Sandile. I like this because I can just Energy Ball. He's got Intimidate. That's fine. Just Energy Ball. This is a cool Pokemon, though. Imagine a shiny uh, Crocodile on this playthrough. Goodbye, Sandile. And Larry goes down. Artist Larry. Larry! Larry! Skillfully dodging. Skillfully dodging. <laughs> Alright, so we got a couple more Pokemon in here. We're gonna kind of just run right through the uh, fiery path. There's nothing really in here aside from some cool Pokemon, maybe. Uh, we're gonna find a Kiny. That is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Um, wouldn't really fit on a team though. Like I said, I want to go to the area where the ash is, like the soot and ash. I think that's a really cool spot for us to look for the next shiny. Uh, the reason why one of my primary hopes in that is that because it's randomized based on base stat total, and Skarmory has an insane base stat total. So I'm hoping. Ooh, a Darumaka! Oh my goodness. I hope I can run from this thing. <laughs> If not, he bodies us right now with uh, with Fire Fang. He's level 14. I think we'll be able to run. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping we randomize the base stat total for Skarmory and end up getting something super awesome. So, Ooh, what is that? Is that a Volbeat? It's a Chin Chow. That's kind of cool. All right, I think I have to take on some of these trainers. I don't think I can skip this guy now. Show me how my Oh, we have to do that whole thing with our rune here, too, I think. All right, Pokemon Ranger Wilton just got a Bergmite. Oh, my goodness. That's actually kind of scary. I don't know. This thing is probably pretty bulky. Bergmite, why are you so bulky? I think I could... Level 20. So now, here we go. So now it's about to go down because this thing's level 20. And I don't feel comfortable staying in. I don't. I think I got to switch to Ernie. I don't feel comfortable. The reason why is if he goes for an ice type move, I'm gonna I would go for energy ball or nature power. It would do like 70%, and then he's gonna go for an ice type move and probably kill us. Icy win, yeah. I don't I, I think our decision to switch there was the right one. I don't think it would have been safe to stay in. I don't think we would have lived it. The takedown. See, we would have lived the takedown. But Pinocchio is just not not that bulky. I actually, yeah, we got to create. I thought that he might have lived that, actually. It's crazy that it sounds. Avalog's got an insane defense stat. I think it's like 180 or something. Base 180. It's absolutely insane. Turtwig. Little cute little Turtwig. Look at him go. All right, I think we just vital throw again. I don't think it's going to kill, especially if he goes for withdraw. We should probably focus energy. Maybe go for focus energy and then start hitting him. Wow, that was a crit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, that was a crit. Curse. Ooh, Curse Twig. I like it. Turtwig Twig would be so cool to have on this playthrough. So cute, man. Little little cute little guy. Definitely my favorite starter in that. It's uh, Chimchar, Turtwig, Twig, and Piplup. Definitely my favorite of the three. And here's a Nidoran female. Poison type. Uh, I guess I'll rock team it. Not much else I can do. He's going to double kick. Good thing I did not switch into my, uh, one of my other Pokemon that are weak to fighting, of course. It's not stab, so it wouldn't be too bad. That's a wow, what's with all the crits we're getting? Did I did I That's that's three, I think. Three crits so far from this thing. That was crazy. Three crits in a row, pretty much. Nice job, Ernie. So Pokemon Trainer Wilton goes down. I just want to find out what our next Pokemon is gonna be. Alright, so this this cutscene, guys. Mmm, I can smell it. I can smell it right here. The set of adventure. This is a definitely one. It's gotta be a secret spot. 
There's enough space here to build a crazy super place. Well, my name's not Arun. This accent has changed like four times already. Crikey. He's Australian. That's what we're going to work with. Oh, yo, my young Pokemon trainer. What can I do for you, mate? Huh? What do you mean you didn't ask for anything? I bet you heart you did. Now, now, no need to be shy. After all, we managed to meet. He's like a cowboy Australian. The name's Arun. Put her there. Matey. Oh, my goodness. I'm skipping it. We're skipping it. Tell me about secret bases. Thanks for secret power. I'll never use it again. I'm not into the secret bases. I think it's a great functionality. It's really cool that it's so integrated and people can like connect with them. But I just feel like there wasn't enough of a bonus for me to want to use them. And there's you make some secret bases. I think he makes me go in there. Yeah, he does. He's going to show us a secret base. It's going to show us around. It's pretty bare, but it's a secret base. And just think, someday this could be uh, all decorated. I'd like to see that. Wait a second. Ah, your A drive. Come hang out with me in, uh, in Fortree City. I'll just put yay. Yay. What do I say when I'm happy? Yay. Yay. That's what I say when I'm happy. Yay. There's plenty in my future to feel happy about. You should be, uh, Uncle Arun is, uh, is a very optimistic individual. Can I just leave, though? He's going to put the Pokemon set. Oh, my God. Stop it, dude. I just want to go. Whatever folks your boat. Okay, he's gonna tell us how to decorate. They pan to the PC as if I could not see the little computer in the corner. Thank you for that. He's gonna give me some decorations. Secret PC, and we can go visit other people's secret bases as well. That's cool. Thank you, my friend. All right, he's in four trees in the secret base guild. Now I'm gonna get out of my secret base, and we are gonna find out what this Pokemon is, man. It's This is the fate of our playthrough. We've had some, some very interesting stuff so far. And skillfully dodge you, skillfully dodge you. There's a trainer here, I I can skillfully dodge her. And maybe I'll come back and take some of these on. I just wanna find out what we're gonna find here, guys. Here's May. Hey, listen. The road here was pretty long, I got tired, I had to take a break. Ah, uh, your Pokemon look pretty tired, let me take care of them myself. I don't think she battles me yet. Your team's health is restored. I'm gonna go see Professor Cosmo. He's done some serious research on the meteorites. Enough dawdling. It's not that much farther to Fall Arbor Town. Let's give it one final push. All right. So here it is, man. We are uh, we are here. I, none of these Pokemon I've seen before, according to the Dex Nav, it's not giving me any shadows. So whatever the first Pokemon we encounter is, guys, I'm going to do my bestest to catch it, and we are going to shiny hunt for that Pokemon. So we're going to do it right now, guys. Let's uh, let's. Jump. There's actually a Pokemon in the Dex Nav right now. Uh, I think I don't want to find out what it's going to be. I'm just going to encounter whatever is in the grass. So whatever it is, is what it is. The encounter and the fourth shiny we're going to go for on this playthrough is an Aerodactyl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Why? Why is it so powerful? And can I even catch this thing? All right, let's go for the fake out. This thing is scary, dude. Can I even catch this thing? All right, let's go into uh, Ernie here. Uh, Ernie's like the bulkiest, which is why I'm going to Ernie, and I don't think uh, Rock Smash will kill him. It's a pretty low base power move. Roar, he's gonna roar me out. It did not work because of our level. Okay, so Rock Smash is gonna do 60 base power. Rock Tomb is gonna be super effective, whereas Rock Smash is neutral, so I do, I do think Rock Smash is the right play here, and I don't think it's gonna kill him, and it doesn't, so we got really lucky there. He's gonna try to roar us out. Okay, so now I just have to catch this thing, and then we're gonna try to catch the shiny version of this thing at some point, uh, which will be our next hunt. Aerodactyl, man. So definitely le uh, leave your nickname suggestions. If you already made a comment, feel free to make another one. Let me know what your nickname suggestions are gonna be for an Aerodactyl. Obviously, we don't have the gender, so feel free to leave two different options, uh, male or female option. And this is a really, really cool Pokemon here for our playthrough, an Aerodactyl, man. Not only does it have an insane base stat total, but it's really, really fast. It's really, really hard hitting. And uh, it's got an interesting shiny. I think it's like kind of a pinkish color. So he's going to scary face. I guess what I can do here is actually go back into Nuzleaf. And I don't think he's going to be able to hit us with a wing attack or anything. And I can hit him with another fake out and just wear him down a little bit more to hopefully make this great ball catch him. And if he has a wing attack move, then I'll be really upset. I don't think he does. though. He's got bite. So he showed bite. He showed roar. He showed scary face, I think. I think that was pretty much it. So this fake out should not kill him, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it brings him to red though, and he flinches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I guess I can stay in here. He doesn't have wing attack, so 
Let's hope this great ball works. I don't want to use all my poke balls just to try to catch this thing. I doubt it. I, I, I'd imagine its catch rate is like really low. So. There we go. So we caught a uh, an Aerodactyl, and that will be our next shiny hunt on the next episode. Get excited for that, guys. If if you're not excited for that, I don't know. I don't know, man. But that is gonna be really sweet. We are gonna go for an Aerodactyl next, which gives us a Rock and Flying type Pokemon. It's not been identified, so we can't even we can't even look into that. We can't even look into that. And uh, it's gonna be intense, man. It's gonna be intense. I'm gonna have to double back to go get my Blaziken now, but we'll make it work. So here is our Aerodactyl, it's got Rock Head. This is actually uh, pretty bad, but it's got Supersonic, Bite, Scary Face, and Roar. This thing is going to be amazing, dude. Look at its stats, like a level 16. This thing is gonna be sick. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, that's gonna be that for this episode of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. I'm gonna have to double back, get my Blaziken come back up here, so that way I don't have to go through all this grass yet. You'll, you'll figure it out, don't worry about it. But uh, that's gonna be that. So don't forget, 1,500 likes for the bonus episode on Friday. You gotta do that on Tuesday and Thursday's episode. I'll be searching for this Aerodactyl tomorrow on my Twitch live stream. So if you wanna hang out with that, that'll be on Wednesday. Pretty much all day, I have to get the Aerodactyl tomorrow. So I'll be streaming it pretty much all day. And uh, that'll be that. So uh, don't forget our QOTD. Let me know some nickname ideas for the Aerodactyl. And uh, that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. My name is Dan. I'll go by A-Drive. I will catch you guys later. Peace.